You've been accused of starting riots in different parts of the country. You've been accused of causing black people to rebel uh, in different places. Did you really cause them to do that? Not at all. Not at all. I mean, uh, I don't think. I mean, you think went there and you you made a speech and you left, uh, and then all of a sudden they burn the city down or they burn a certain area down. That's objective conditions. That's not uh, Stokely Carmichael. Objective uh, conditions. The objective conditions cause it. For example, uh, if I came to Montgomery today and said, uh, burn, baby, burn, it wouldn't happen. Why but do you think that, that it wouldn't happen? Because the objective conditions today are not the same as they were uh, 10 years ago, 8 years ago, 7 years ago, 6 years ago. In other words, you can do some things here today that you couldn't do six or seven years ago. Precisely, precisely. So it's the objective conditions. Uh, six or seven years ago, the contradictions and the, the oppression was so blatant. And at the same time, there were so many overt contradictions in the country. You were sending black men to fight in Vietnam for freedom and democracy from Montgomery, Alabama, and they couldn't even go downtown to a stupid five and ten cent store and buy something. Now, those contradictions are too blatant. Once you show these contradictions out to the people, he said, now what are you going to Vietnam for when you can't even burn this thing down before you go to Vietnam? That makes sense. They can begin to understand that. Now, contra now the contradictions, now what the power structure is trying to do is to blur the contradictions. See, like they have some black people on television. They have some black legislators here. They have some black elected officials here. They put a few black people here to make it appear as if things are getting better. They're not as bad as they are. And of course, what happens is in this period, the people just take stock of what's going on. Everybody knows things are not getting better. As a matter of fact, they're getting worse. A lady I just met a few minutes ago from Birmingham told me, she said, son, everything is going up except labor. Okay, but you, 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 you do, un underlying uh, beneath all of this, you do say that there has been some progress. Oh, undeniably so. Black people have made great progress. But all the progress is to black people, not to anybody else. For example, all the progress made here in this city, you're being on television. That's not because white folk in Alabama got nice. That's because of the blood that black people spilled right here on this street. Because as black people began to fight and spill their blood and rebel, the white man knew he had to grant some concessions. As a matter of fact, the strength of black people is reflected right here in George Wallace. George Wallace, some 10 years ago, stood in the state of Alabama doorway, outstretched, and said he would never let a black man come into that school over his dead body. And just in a short, short period of 10 years, he had to turn his position completely around and come and beg black people to vote for him. And that shows the strength and the power of our people. During the 1960s, there were several things that were synonymous with the name Stokely Carmichael. First, it was the clenched fist. Then it was the words uh, black power. Uh, that was your theme. Exactly what does black power mean? Well, it means black people coming together and using their energies and making a power base to do what they have to do in order to assure their liberation. Of course, what that means, if you really go into it deeply, means that black people must be in control of their lives, must be in control of the politics, the economics, and the social aspects that determine their lives. All right, now, this does not mean that you're telling all blacks to go out and buy guns and, and move into white neighborhoods and kill everybody, is that? No, but they need guns now. They need them. Uh, they need guns? They need them. Yes, they need them. Because, Why uh, do they need guns? Well, because in the final analysis, uh, history has demonstrated to us, for example, what we're seeing now in Montgomery, we saw right after the uh, Civil War period, when black people were legislators and, you know, moving in there. But uh, once the white power consolidated itself against the assault of the Civil War, they came and moved against blacks. And when blacks moved, especially in Montgomery, Alabama, since the period of, let's say, uh, the 50s, when Dr. King began the uh, Montgomery bus boycott, for example, they started an assault against uh, the white power structure, which again, with overall countries in the country, had them weak. But the white power structure will again begin to try and consolidate itself. Once it begins to try and consolidate itself, again, it will move against black people. Unless we are ready to defend our positions by any means necessary, they'll put us out again. Stokely, when you say by any means necessary, Exactly what do you mean? By any means necessary. By violence, by non-violence, by any means necessary. But you don't push any particular thing, any particular method? No, whichever, for example... Whichever one is whichever, necessary at that time. Right, for example, in, in 19, uh, 1956 in Montgomery, Alabama, 
a non-violent boycott for effective changes. That bus company went out of business Precisely. here it brought, a few it, months ago. Good. It brought poetic justice. Well, yeah. <laughs> it brought um, it brought better. It brought more effective results than would have violent demonstrations at that time. In 1968, violent demonstrations brought better results than would non-violent demonstrations at that time. So, by any means necessary, means whichever tactic is applicable to bring about the best and most effective results you use. If a non-violent demonstration can bring it, use it. If a violent demonstration can bring it, use it. Whatever means necessary.